Hey guys, it's Rob J here. I'm just doing a quick video because circumstances have made it possible. So, I've got my mouldy old test tube here from Camponotus species and uh, it's got old water mouldy. But I want the test tube, so I need to get the cotton wool out. Now there are a few guides out there how to do this, but I've come up with my own method that I want to show you. So the guide that I specifically know about myself is from Ants Canada, which is like barbecue skewers, and you sort of like splinter the end. But I can't get them all year round, and uh, I think I might have come up with a better solution. Or at least, for me, it is. What you're going to need is a screw and some string. So this is my example. Uh, just a it's just a normal screw and a length of twine, garden twine on mine. And you're gonna need a matching screwdriver. Okay, and it's quite simple how this works. Is you're gonna put the screwdriver head in and then pull the twine tight. So now I no longer have to hold the screw. Okay, get your test tube. Now, obviously, this is can't be practiced. Uh, which way is it? Turn it the way for the screw and then just pull it out. Dispose of your old water. There you go. I've got the old soiled cotton wool stopper out. Now, I detailed my screw, boiled in water, and totally disinfected and cleaned it. But this is only to get out the dirty one. The ants don't come into contact with my screw. I want, and that's what I do, and I just put that away now. I will then go ahead, wash this, and one of my other tips is just after washing it, I like to wrap a piece of string around the cotton bud. I ram it all the way down to the bottom, and then I pull it back out with the string. And then I normally put them away, ready for use. Anyway, I hope this little tip some of you might find helpful, some of you might have your own methods, some of you might like Ant Canada's method. I personally found that, I don't know if it was me or what, but once these have been shoved down there so tightly, some getting it out with some splinters just didn't work for me full stop, and I did try. But this method took quite a bit of um, perfecting, um, but now I have mastered it. This wasn't pre pre prepared, uh, and it came out first time, which I wasn't. Which happens most times. It all depends on how well you've caught the cotton wool. But when you pull, make sure you pull gently and slowly. If you try to do it quickly, you'll generally lose the grip. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Catch you next time.